Hey what's up guys, Stadnaz. In this video, I'm going to show you a pretty cool interaction with a perk combination you can only get on the Edge Transit. If you're not familiar with the perk Deconstruct, it gives a 40% damage increase to constructs and vehicles and generates ammo, which is the part of the perk that is most important. To generate ammo, you have to hit 50% of the magazine to refund two shots from thin air, and it's not from the reserves, so that's why it's so good. So on Carl, with a magazine size of 7, it procs Deconstruct once and refunds me two shots for nine shots in total. But Carl isn't strong enough to show the interaction, so let's go to his older brother. When you have a roll with sticky grenades, it gets even crazier. Sticky grenades count as a second hit from the jail per shot, since it deals impact damage as a separate hit from the delayed explosion damage, allowing it to deal sustained damage and proc deconstruct more often. With a magazine of 6 shots, it will allow it to shoot 11 shots and not 12 since the perk rounds down. And these clips are just for some DPS testing, with the perk interaction and cascade point, 3 times void surge mods in a well of radiance. While testing using cascade point with sticky grenades, it would only proc deconstruct once or sometimes it wouldn't proc it at all. This is probably because the rate of fire is preventing it from getting the explosion damage, so without the second hit it cannot proc deconstruct as often, but that's what I concluded to and I may be wrong. Also, since the rate of fire is so fast, I did realize that on the second magazine, the sticky grenades from the previous mag will explode and refund you early in your shots, which can allow you to get 12 shots off. Enough of me yapping, here's the clip unedited. and it does a respectable 2 million damage with just 3 surge mods and a well. Now in this clip I just wanted to add in Wither Horde to see how a rotation would increase the damage. And this was able to pump out 2.5, 2.6 million damage without a debuff or solo op, which is pretty decent. Now I know this weapon can roll with bait and switch and envious assassin, but I believe what maybe the perk field prep for more reserves can possibly allow it to have more total damage. But burst DPS is definitely more important since most damage phases are relatively short. But I just want to make this video to show you this interaction with these perks if you weren't aware. Thanks for watching, if you enjoyed the video, hit the like button, your support and engagement means so much to me, and also consider subscribing if you want to see more Destiny 2 content.